Hi guys, Fullboard from Sweden here with the 11th episode of our Italian playthrough in Victoria 2. Today I am going to try and get our infamy down a bit. We are also going to start looking at modernizing our navy. But there's uh, not going to be that much focus on wars right now because uh, as I just said we need our infamy to go down. And I'm going to reorganize our armies a bit, see what we can upgrade, who we can refill, if people need refilling. And uh, generally just keep upgrading our country. So I will be back once something actually happens. So it's the 9th of July 1900. And the third way has started, which means that we are starting to get fascists, strength through unity. Now, if we look at our rebels, do we have any fascist rebels? No. Anarcho liberals. Blech. We actually have quite a few militant socialists, so. We could hmm. So the Netherlands wants to sphere Belgium, of course you do. I don't want an alliance with Belgium. What I actually wanted to tell you is that Austria Hungary has reconquered our core in Istria. And uh, that's good for us because it's easier to go to war with Austria-Hungary than it is to go to war to with the, the United Kingdom, who had them sphered. And look at the Faroe Islands getting released and everything. So as soon as our truce is up, I think that we want to go to war with him, which is pretty much uh, right now. All bureaucrats or all capitalists. Yeah, let's get the capitalists. And uh, looks like we're gonna have to actually. Yeah. UK. You do not want to lose your oil. Might have to attack these guys. How much infamy would that be? We could definitely attack them. We could definitely beat the UK. It's not about that. Unite the... Uh, <laughs> the single oil province here with 5k people. It's not like we need it when we have so much here. I am, however, thinking about taking this from the Netherlands. Get even more oil. I also started to build... Uh, let's see some oil refineries in two of our states. We have too many states now. <laughs> too many cord states. There's too much industry. And look, we are at rank one in prestige. Our score is rising quickly and we are moving. I mean, we're very, very far away from first place, but we're getting there. It would be cool to become first place, but I doubt I doubt that's going to happen. Unless you get some like... Uh, tech that uh, decreases your prestige. No, your infamy somehow. What I think we could do allows construction of monitor. Hmm. Monitor factory? No. Construction. Oh, oh. <laughs> Monitor is a boat. Yeah. You know what? We could actually start building some of these. Let's get a bunch of monitors. 25 of them. It's time our navy gets an upgrade. 
I sent uh, 20 of our transports down here to be able to move these guys around if we get any rebels or whatnot. <clears throat> but it's time for Austria-Hungary to return our rightful clay. Now, this state sucks, but it's my core and I want it back. I also want to be able to move with my guys by just, you know, moving them. This guy's gonna die if I leave him there because we are going at war. We also got naval tech for Albania. I... <laughs> So we had a safari in Albania. Mechanized mining. Nice. So Brest. A crisis to liberate Poland. You know what? That might actually be... It should have supported the Polish side. Well, that's what wasn't hard. <laughs> if I supported the Polish side, he would have uh, been sphered with me. That would have been nice. So, Austria-Hungary. Gain consciousness. Yeah, sure. Are we at a truce? No, we're not. I would like to get my core back. And all of my allies want to join. Now, I have looked around a bit, uh, thinking about our options with allies. Portugal would be nice, but I'm not gonna be able to sphere him because the UK is keeping me out. And the UK is doing a good job keeping me out of these guys. So... Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to do anything here. Decrease the opinion of Austria-Hungary. Screw them. And I actually found kind of an no annoying thing. As soon as we get positive uh, relations with Switzerland, he wants an alliance. And if I accept the alliance, he immediately cancels it because he's a neutral country. And that gives us negative relations with him, even though it's he who actually cancels the damn thing. And uh, I guess you can understand how that is annoying on so many levels. So I'm gonna go for this core. Everyone's gonna join me. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm actually gonna hope that Germany releases... Actually, let's move these guys here, just in case. Uh, I'm gonna hope that Germany asks for something. Yeah, we definitely want to move more troops here. Because he sure as hell did. Are we the attacker? No, he's the attacker with minus two in his rolls. Sucks to be you, I guess. You go down there. You go and siege our war goal. No, I do not want peace. Let's see, I'm gonna push down. And I'm gonna let this war go on for a while. Because of the simple fact that I kind of want to... I want Germany to... Uh, and we're the first to the North Pole, we gain a shit ton of prestige for that. Nice. 
I did spend a lot of cash. Well, I guess everything is relative. It wasn't... <laughs> it wasn't uh, a lot of cash for me, but for a minor nation it would be a shit ton of cash. Go and beat him up. And we got the... Yeah, tank experiments. Minus two. We need combustion engine. Is that in industry? Yeah, let's go for that. I'm gonna try getting tanks. It would be fucking badass. Now, Mr. Jenner, Germany, sir. I don't really have uh, the infamy. Serbia wants an alliance. Nah. Uh, Germany cost, cut Austria down to size. Can't you add like liberate a country or something? You know, something more fun. Cut down to size. We can already beat the sh living shit out of him without, like, any effort at all. Oh, I lost? Oh, and I actually lost, like, a full stack of guys. Huh. Looks like he can actually fight after all. Sadly for him, I'm not too bothered about losing guys anymore. And yeah, this was a bad attack. I need good rolls. Will I get good rolls? Nah. Come on, add something else. <sighs> Is there anything that doesn't cost a lot of infamy. Releasing a puppet. Would there be any sense in making him release this guy? I kind of feel like it wouldn't. Go and help our armies out. Come on, Germany, add like release nation. Holy shit, that's a lot of war score. Hmm. So we have 58, so we can take 42 more. Uh, if we want to free the people, that's 7.5 infamy, we can take that. Free the people of Croatia. In the state of Croatia. Where is that? It's this state. Free the people of uh, Croatia in Croatia. 7.5 infamy. You know what? Let's do it. And then I'm gonna sphere and ally him, and I'm gonna take back his course here as well. So, what do you say about the peace deal? You would accept that offer. <laughs> oh, glorious. Glorious times. This, I think this is going to push him out of being a great power. Because cutting him down in size, that really hurts him. And yeah, Croatia is in our sphere. So, 
we are going to be able to ask uh, in the next war against Austria-Hungary to release or to give back Croatian cores. No? Did Croatia lose their course there? And I am back with a bit of a uh, militant socialist problem. But it's nothing that we can't take care of. I tried to make them happy by putting through some reforms that I thought was socialist, but I guess... It wasn't socialist enough for these guys. Uh, other than that, not that much has happened. We have been able to pull Oman out of Great Britain's sphere. And uh, since I got an alliance with him... And got some better relations. He is now in my sphere. So now we only have German and the Trucial States to worry about. So let's put this down to one. I'm also working on Austria-Hungary who wants to sphere Croatia. And I'm not going to let that happen. Other than that, still waiting for our infamy. Uh, still building military. I actually started to get some battleships, which sounds pretty damn nice. Our naval limit is not that great right now. We, or well, our naval limit is amazing, but our naval capacity is dropping kind of fast, and I'm feeling like the commerce raiders have done their job. And uh, now I kind of want to test out our new found amazing navy. Did I actually sit and add commerce raiders? I think I did. All of the commerce raiders. I don't need you anymore. I think. Let's see with this. Yeah. Our colonial power dropped. Would you look at that? So Greece have communists, rebels. We can't have that. Send an army to help him. I'm not gonna allow communists to take over Greece. We actually lost a bunch of troops uh, because in this game, when you gain rebels, uh, some of your troops, like you can see here, this guy is actually like... Okay, don't hunt rebels. Like this guy, he is a militant socialist, so once the rebel spawns, he joins the socialists immediately, and uh, that means that he will instantly die. Not sure what I think about that system. Uh, it's kind of just annoying, but I guess it's okay. I think they want safety. Nah, they're still kind of pissed off. Our communists are also growing really quickly, so it looks like uh, a government shift. Is what people want. But we're gonna stay a theocracy. We also went ahead of the United States. But uh, the score is... We're really close. <laughs> to each other. Uh, score wise. So you're still... Working here. Yeah. You really want to sphere Croatia, don't you? And Oman, no one is working on you. And that is nice. So Greece, can you deal with that? Yeah, look at you go. <clears throat> well, that should have freed up some more 
Yeah, let's get... Let's get 10 more battleships, then we have 20 battleships. I guess this really adds to our war or our military power. Now we can create another army. And this will be... 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I think this will be the 7th Italian army. Amazing. And I don't know if you noticed, but we did get a pop-up. And what did it say? Can anyone in the class answer me? No, you're not the derps. You are the... 7th Italian Army. You, however, are the... Derps. Derps go down here. And we shouldn't be building any armies now. No. Look, build army, and we can build armor. Hell yeah! I think... Before we do that, we have to get some tank factories. And for that we need automobiles. And look what I got here. Automobile factory. Get some tanks. Actually, Emilia, you can also build tanks. Yeah, let's build tanks there. We only have one automobile factory though, and there's like almost no people working there. High priority. Hire as many people as you can. Don't I have another state where I can get some automobiles? I guess we could remove something from here. Like... Damn, everything is making so much money though. Not this one. You know what? I'm gonna close you. And you're also going to make automobiles. Even though this state makes nothing that you need. We can probably transport it with our really good uh, railroad system. And I guess level 5 forts. Go for it. Let's make it a bitch to siege anything here. Ugh. The estates that I took from uh, Austria-Hungary was like not upgraded at all. Oh, I forgot to build a better naval base there. Hmm. What do you know? This one is done. That one is done. More forts. Good part about upgrading forts over here in the colonies is that... Uh, our enemies... Also known as France and Great Britain seems to have a fetish about sieging uh, colonial provinces. And that means that when he stands in our colonies, he takes a shitload of attrition. And if we have really good forts here, he's gonna take even more than a shitload. Like a fuckload of attrition. Forts might actually increase the... Uh, it's called like support supply limit, but I don't think it increases it for your enemies, but it might, so I don't know. I don't know what else to do with all the money that we have. We're actually not making that much cash now though, or well, we're still making a lot of cash, but 
I think all of our new navies are really demanding on the economy. But we can always tax our people and we could put some like tariffs. Like if we put this at only 10%, say we do, our budget is gonna like shoot through the sky. We're gaining so much population each day, it's insane. People really want to live in our country, but people also really want to rebel in our country. Which makes no sense to me. Russia, you want an alliance? Well, too bad, because I don't. Now, Trucial States. I'm gonna start working on our relations. Actually, let's look here. Yeah, we're banned from both of these. Great Britain, you asshole. We are slowly moving up to become as uh, powerful. We actually have uh, a lot more infantry or like ground troops than the United Kingdom. But he on the other hand has a lot more ships than us. But does he have 20 battleships and a bunch of monitors? I don't know. I'm not sure if the AI like upgrades their armies or navies. Armies they obviously upgrade, but navies, I don't know. We're also soon at 100% literacy, which is pretty damn cool. Especially considering how many colonies we have. Anyways, uh, with that said, I think I'm ready to finish this episode, so... Thanks for watching, if you liked this video leave a like, and if you didn't I'm sorry I wasted your time. With that said, I will see you in the next video, full board out.